Additional dye stuff is circulated around the school and kept under constant agitation. Good evening, Mr. Chapman. Good evening. My husband is waiting for you. Thank you. Mrs. Chapman has come to see you, Jim. Good evening, Chapman. Nice of you to come over. Good evening. Glad to do it. Billy's been after me. Let him join the pack. He's old enough now to be a cub. And I want to tell you something about cubbing. Won't you have a seat? Thank you. Bill tells me I'll have to join the Cubs, too, if he does. <laughs> well, it's not quite like that. The parents are a very important part in the Cubs' scheme. How's that? You see, Cubbing is part of the whole Boy Scout family. It is a program for boys 9 to 11 years of age. Its activities are centered in the home. Unlike many things in modern life, it ties the boy more closely to his home, rather than to pull him away. In a sense, it might be said that cubbing is a program to help parents get better acquainted with their boys. Things that a boy learns are started at cub meetings and finish at home with dad's help. This gives father a good chance to work with his son, and through these mutual interests, the father gets to know his son as a pal. Real understanding of a boy comes from solving a problem with him and getting the right answer together. As mother watches her son develop through cubbing activities, she sees his accomplishments in a new light and shares in his success. She knows that cubbing projects which keep her son so intense and happy are real fun for him and that they help develop his character and talent in a natural way. She shares in his pride at each step of his progress. By serving as a den mother, a mother can help her own boy and extend her influence to his playmates as well. Both mother and father realize that it isn't easy for a youngster to learn habits of neatness. Through the cub requirements, a boy learns why he must share in the responsibilities of the work at home. And both mother and father watch the cub learn to build things with his hands. The skills he learns are put to use. The cubbing literature suggests a wide choice of things for the boy to build, including handicrafts, things that go, simple machines and games. They are things that boys have fun making and twice as much fun using. Building a backyard den is a typical cubbing activity. Boys are their own architects, contractors, and engineers. They do their own planning, for cubbing supplies activities that help the cub develop himself while playing. Most of the cubbing program is centered in the home. It means something to mothers and dads to know cubbing provides things a boy can do in his own backyard or in a neighborhood.
To the cub, simple tasks become something worth learning how to do well. For example, he takes pride in knowing how to tie a package neatly. The cub's motto is, do your best. Practicing the motto gradually develops a sense of responsibility in the boy, and he learns the importance of completing any task that he undertakes. The cubbing program encourages the boy to make more use of his home. The corner of the basement, an empty storeroom in the attic, soon becomes the cub's own workshop, which he shares with his friends. One of the cub's slogans is, a cub is happy, game, and fair. He unconsciously absorbs good social habits through cubbing. He learns to share with his playmates, and he learns the instincts of fair play that is the real basis of courtesy. The handicraft requirements of cubbing teach the boy to use the tools safely. And the whole cubbing program teaches a boy how to take care of himself and avoid mishaps. With proper leadership, the cub learns the principles of safety first in his place. The word thrift takes on a new meaning, because the cub is not only encouraged to save, but also to spend wisely. The athletic activities of cubbing are geared to the ability of the boy, and they are encouraged and supervised by dad. Sportsmanship and fair play are cubbing ideals. And all of the cubbing activities are carefully planned to encourage the boy to go stronger, to develop normally and naturally. And all of them are designed to make healthier boys. I can see that the cub program is good for a boy. Most of the younger kids in this neighborhood have joined. But just what do the parents have to do with this program? Plenty. We have a job for you. I was just coming to that. The first thing that a parent should do is to get acquainted with the cubbing literature. The literature will give you the details of the cubbing program. I brought a few cub books along on the chance that you might be interested. When parents are acquainted with the whole program, they can give practical suggestions that are most important. Cubbing is for your boy, and it is successful only with your cooperation. The first real responsibility of parents is to help the cub with his advancement requirements. When your boy first becomes a cub, he is a bobcat at the foot of the ladder. He wants to earn the next rank, and you can help him. You see, first, wolf cub, then bear cub, and finally lion cub. For each of these ranks, the cub meets a set of requirements described in the cub book, and the parents are the ones who certify that the cub has met these requirements. Here is the wolf cub book. It tells what the cub must do to become a wolf. What are the requirements like? Well, to become a wolf cub, a boy must demonstrate the proper respect due the flag. Do certain stunts, showing physical skill, and you must know and practice a few simple safety rules. And follow a simple daily health routine. He keeps his things in order and does his part in the home. Make some handicraft article. He starts 
starts a collection of some kind. And makes a scrapbook of some hobby. how to type packages and how to do other useful things with rope. At last, he has a choice of special activities from a long list of them. When he has completed these achievements, the bobcat becomes a wolf cub. outlines the next cub rank. What does he do to get to be a bear? He must fulfill a number of slightly more advanced achievements, all tuned to a growing boy of his age. Always there is a chance for parents to help the cub in these achievements. In the 12 requirements, five of them, the cub's own choice, are met the boy is given the badge of the bear cub. Here is the lion cub book that tells about the highest rank of cubbing. Would these things be too much for my boy? Oh no, in every rank, they are the sort of thing that every boy can do and wants to do. Things like feats of skill, handicraft, tying knots, and the rest. In the lion ranks, of course, the requirements are slightly more advanced than in the bear ranks. By the time he is ready to be a lion cub, a boy is looking forward to the day when he will be 12 years old and can join the scout. So one of the lion cub requirements is that he learn the scout oath and law. Now he has his lion cub bag. Now there are other ways that mother and dad can help cubbing. Mother may act as a den mother for the neighborhood group of youngsters. This means that once a week, the den meets at her house under her supervision. The den chief, an older boy who is a scout, does the actual leading of the cub. But the den mother supervises from a distance. Dad helps the cub to make the backyard an interesting place and takes the cub on hike. Family trips are part of cubbing too. Whether the trip is a picnic, or a trip to the zoo, in other words. Cubbing brings the whole family closer together. This is why parents are invited from the very beginning and why the monthly pack meetings when the various dens get together include parents. So, in a sense, Bill was right. Cubbing is a game you and your boy play together. And cubbing is fun. 
real fun for the boys and fun for the parents too. Well, I had no idea there was so much in trouble, or that it could mean so much to parents. Well, suppose I leave these tub books here for you to look over. Oh. I hope to see you at the park meeting next Friday evening. We'll be there. It certainly was nice of you to take the time to tell me all about Tubby. It was a pleasure. Good night. Good night. Cubbing, Bill. Oh, boy. I'm sure glad I'm a cub. <laughs> <laughs>